my heart, my soul, who I've loved dearly since the day she was born. person could love Megan as much as I do. Cheers. 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 Ooh, I'm not. I'm out of my league, I know that. And open. Ooh, my goodness. Look at that. Once upon a time, I was on a Southwest Airlines flight and we just had the speech about seat belts and oxygen masks and the whole thing. And when the flight attendant finished, she said, so sit back and relax, or you can sit up and be tense, but either way, the flight's gonna take two hours. I thought, well, okay, there's some wisdom in that. You're setting out on a journey, you're taking a trip, and what happens on that trip has a lot to do with what you bring to it. It's not like you're brand new to knowing each other, okay? You've known each other for quite a while now, but you are entering into a new phase of your relationship, marriage. And that's a pilgrimage that will take you out into the indefinable future at this point. And you can either sit back and relax or sit up and be tense. What you bring to it makes all the difference and what marriage looks like to you. So, what's in your luggage? Hope that you are bringing patience and kindness. I hope that you are bringing a sense of perseverance and fortitude. And I hope that you are bringing a kind of selfless, unconditional because if you bring that love, it will be like something else that happened to me on a Southwest flight. And so we got the thing that, okay, now you can turn on your cell phones, but don't get out of your seat until the cat has turned on the passes at that time. The flight attendant looked at his all and he said, and remember, somewhere out there, somebody loves you. And there's not a thing you can do about it. May you be blessed in your In the name of God, I, John, take you, Megan, to be my wife. In the name of God, I, Megan, take you, John, to be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. Better for work. For richer and for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. May the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and remain with you always. Amen. Well, I'm delighted to present to you Mr. and Mrs. John Anthony Malazzo.